start the show. What's going on, YouTube? It's me, Tiffany, and I'm here with my co-host, Tanea. Hey, guys. And we are back with an all-new video. Today is Wednesday, August the 26th. We are officially in Virgo season. We are. It's my friend's birthday. Oh, yeah, it is your friend's birthday. Happy birthday, Tanya. We have been friends for such a long time. We're very on the street. Yeah. Um, she's also a friend of mine, but it's like she's more today's friend, but she's my friend too. Mm. Y'all, I picked up a new ghetto habit. I don't know when it happened because I have been buying these Sakari for years. I love flaming hot Cheetos. It's like, girl, grow up. It's a what is it? What's the shit in like? It's it's not they not that hot. No, I don't believe it. Yo, I don't know when it happened. What I don't like is they change your fingers, they make them red, and they make your tongue red. I don't like that, but they are a nice time. Mm. It's just like at first I was like embarrassed because I was like, this is some. Real no, it, stock you should shit. be embarrassed. Like this is stock food. You should. Oh, where my earrings at? You remember I used to trend Whole Food? Yeah, no, it really is Whole Food. Um. But anyway, shout out to the Virgos. It's your season. I'm not the biggest fan of Virgos. I'm going to tell y'all that now. I think I tell y'all that a lot. I don't know. It's something about these ending. No, it's you and Earth sign. It's something about these ending zodiacs like Sagittarius, Scorpio, Virgo. I like Libras. But it's like, after September, it's just like hell. Girl, shut the fuck up. On Earth. Like, literally... All of those signs are literally the best things in your life. So shut up. Say the um, yeah, you love Khadija. The, and Nicki Minaj. I, <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at um, I was looking at um <laughs> some old post and I had put up something and it said something about something about the Sagittarius uh improving your life or something. I said, Imagine a Sagittarius improving your life it couldn't how you must already be a demon like they are literally devils on earth it's strange but i hope you guys have a great run the thing about virgo season is it's like officially holiday season in my eyes like everything is just downhill from here we're going into halloween thanksgiving well no we go from labor day to Halloween to Thanksgiving to Christmas to New Year's and then it's just like boom the year has started back over it's just like this is Virgo season is always like uncomfortable for me because it's like oh my god I can just feel my wallet shaking the anxiety building up of me having to buy shit and my decorate <laughs> it's just it's honestly just too much <laughs> it's just too much and something else that's crazy is that it is about to be Labor Day weekend next week. Like the mm -hmm. pools are going to shut down. Summer is officially over, but it's summer just like, is I over. Didn't even get my summer started. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, like literally. Mm -hmm. That's what I was about to tell y'all. Like, ain't shit going on over here. We still in the fucking house. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, I I honestly feel like Tanea is like <laughs> today is taking Corona so serious. Like Tanea literally hasn't done anything. The most dangerous thing Tanae has done in Corona was go out to dinner for Kari's birthday. <laughs> that was it. I feel like I might have done something what else, else did you do? kind of dangerous. I wait. I went to the mall. And you know what she did? I had a fucking anxiety. <laughs> she complained and cried and talked about Ooh. how she was oh, sick. Oh, no. Excuse me. That was the third time. Oh, because. Because the first time I had a complete meltdown yeah. and left. But the mall isn't fun at all in Corona. Like, my thing is, like, what I was telling anybody is, like, you know when you leave out of a store, like, you take your mask off and it's some relief. When you're in the mall and you leave out it's of a no store, relief. you can't take your mask off. My nanny went to a rental mills. No. Ain't no motherfucking way. You may have to pay me. Like, yeah, no. no. I, don't, I don't want any parts in that. Um, so, the next thing I want to do is give... Oh, well, back to Virgo season. Happy birthday to all the Virgos. I'm definitely not going to be giving shout outs every week because it's a lot of y'all motherfuckers there's so many virgos in this world my god we should start off with the beautiful beyonce well yeah that's the only person that's getting the shout out of any other 
Mm-hmm. My godmother's Beyonce and Beyonce is the same birthday. Really? Mm-hmm. So many people have that birthday. Oh, Shay good. from Twitter, um, Bishop, mm-hmm. um, somebody else does. Oh, um, Gerard's from Britney Son. Kyle. Oh, that's his birthday. That's oh his my birthday. God. Yeah. But people always talk about how it's hard having your birthday be on Beyonce's birthday because for some reason, Beyonce tries to overshadow your birthday, but Beyonce ain't even do it. It's the motherfuckers on your time. Like, yeah. all, you, all you see is, it's my arm, um, actually. I did Probably. promotion. It looks like it. I think it just looks it's like it. Probably because you spend a lot of time on your albums and movies. I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's kind of like, <laughs> shout out to Ashley. I always, like, it's always funny to me because on her birthday, all you see is blue ivy shit. Yeah. Blue ivy, blue ivy, But blue that is ivy. Beyonce's fault. So we can blame Right. Her. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, it really is. Be- that that really is Beyonce's fault. So. Um, the next thing, next person I have to give a shout out to is shout out to Gia, one of our faithful viewers. Oh, that's my baby Gia, not Gia. Gia with a J, not a G. And Gia always reminds us on Twitter that she was named after Gia from the movie Gia. I don't know if you've all ever she seen it. She loves the movie Gia. It is um, starring Angelina Jolie. And I love Angelina I Jolie. Be cracking that movie. She is a straight up heroin addict. I think it scared me. Literally holes in yeah. her arm that she's shooting in. Yeah, like, I think that's why I, I, it scared me. Yeah, she was a straight up junkie. I shouldn't have watched that shit. What was the name of Jolie? It's one of my favorites. But Gia sent us these shirts that yes, she did. I truly appreciate. You know I love me a good t-shirt. And I told Gia, I said, Gia, me and Tanea then gained a couple pounds. So I'm going to need you. That's not even a couple. <laughs> At this point, I it's said, not Gia, a I'm going to need you to send us the correct size. Because bitches over here, it's fat. It's fat. Okay? It's fat, fat. Like... I don't even want to talk about how bad I didn't got over the corona. No, I honestly, Tanea, one thing I want you to do is stop sharing like your photos from last year because, I mean, I was a little smaller, Bitch, don't tell but Tanea was small <laughs> last year. Like, you was really small last I year. Know. It's so crazy, like I what know. a year can do. I know. <laughs> them, I know. So that's you why y'all need less videos. Because I'm going to look at my fat ass self for 40 minutes talking. Yeah. If you go to my Instagram, that's why I don't, I don't know why nobody wants to look at my Instagram. I mean, follow oh. me. I ain't put up a video. I was since. looking. I posted so much last year or the year before because I was smaller. Now that I ain't got fat, y'all don't get no pictures. Y'all not get nothing holiday. until I feel good about myself. Right now, I don't. So you'll see the puppy. But it's just like, quotes. I'm, I'm still putting up there what I'm, what I'm cooking though. <laughs> Don't post the date. I hate it here. I, honestly, I hate it here. I feel like Mattel. I don't live here. I don't. No, live. I actually don't live here. I don't. We are in Tiffany's apartment. Live I don't live here. here. I don't live here. Um, but yeah, so thank you, Gia. That was so thoughtful of you. It was just a random give. I had a couple people like in the past two weeks ask me for our address, so I'll be looking out for Please, them. because y'all know I in in the corona, you love mail. So <laughs> And I'd be looking for unfortunately that. for us in the United States, it's a lot of shit going on. Come on, because I'm still waiting for something that was supposed to come here on Monday. I don't like, come till ten o'clock at night these days. Like it's very strange. It's, at this point, it's like what? Because I'm on the informed mail thing to uh-huh. show you what you get. But we got today. We were supposed to get on like Friday. Like literally, we are like two days. Yeah, like three days behind. It's very. Um, it's wild out here. Mm-hmm. They was like, yeah, your best bet is to order from Amazon, and they starting to get a little shaky too. So no, they know. are, cause don't re- don't forget. You remember when I was ordering from Amazon? Yeah. Now my UPS shit. Not be at the door. I came outside. It was here. Hey, day. Love to see it. Um, what was I about to tell y'all? Oh my god! Guess what I watched last night for the first time. Usually, whenever Tanae asks me to watch, I've a been movie, asking. I've been asking her to watch a movie, this movie, with me for almost a whole year. No, she's a liar. No, because I saw it for You're the first time a last liar. year. And so, okay, whatever. I <laughs> like when I hear like Tanae or Simone, like either <laughs> one of them, ask me about a movie. I'm just like, oh my god, this movie <laughs> is going to suck because <laughs> Simone is always finding like. Something the weird. strangest no, movie, weird. 
And Tanea is into like superpowers and fantasy, so I'm just like, oh, <laughs> Watch people sell drugs and shoot guns <laughs> and, and have sad. side bitches. Like I don't want to see this shit. But I watched <laughs> um, Maleficent last night with Tanea, and I thoroughly enjoyed. It. I'm so happy I'm a part movie? of the club. I really want to see the second one. I almost watched it this morning. Okay, we'll I watch it really, really need to see it. This was a great mm-hmm. movie, and I, what made me really want to see it was when Tanea told me that. She wasn't always evil. So I had been wanting to know, like, what the fuck happened to this bitch that she wasn't evil anymore? So it really upsets me because I remember when the second one came out, like, everybody was running to the movies to see it. And I almost wish I would have been part of the crew. I went to the movies to go see it and I hadn't seen the first one. Yeah, no, I, I don't like <laughs> shit like that. That's the type of shit that she likes to do. I don't like shit like that. But great movie if you haven't seen it. And literally, I think Maleficent came out in, like... <laughs> 2013 maybe 2012 it's a good time so i also hope you all caught up on our no measurements this past sunday we did stuffed shells unfortunately for you guys tanea burnt it at the end and she keeps trying to tell me that she didn't burn it but even when i rewarm it you can tell that the top layer is burnt it's not burnt you want me to make you some new ones? No, I don't. I can wait until Christmas. But the thing is, is that usually when she takes it out, like, it's all bubbly and gooey. No, it was a brick at the time. It was not a Now, brick. under the brick, it was salvageable. But Tanea, this is what she likes to do. She likes to leave out of the house with the fucking oven on <laughs> because she thinks that she can cook 20 miles away. And it's fine. Oh, I'm just gonna. And no, she didn't even pull one of her. I'm gonna turn it down low tricks. Like she kept it. At the I for, now that's I did. I did forget about that. So this is wild. No, I was being wild, but it was a nice time for me. I thoroughly enjoyed them. They were so cheesy. Were like cheesy. the girl is a nut. Um. So yeah. So I guess when I make them for Christmas, you'll see them cheesy she and annoying. bubbly. She's annoying. So um. We do want to catch up on, do more No Measurements videos so y'all can come back and start giving us your requests. Um, to the girl who often asks about the hibachi. Let me tell you something, okay? <laughs> we will get around to it, but it's a lot. No, it's just, because I've made it before. But you know what? Maybe next time when I make it, like, I'll just make it for my house. Yeah. Because I made it for, like, eight people. You made people. it, yeah. Um, and it was just. I feel was, like the last time you made it was for the lemonade party. You really went all out too. I can't even remember. I that remember shit. that. Um, but yeah, so it's just like it's just it's so much. Mm-hmm. Um, but it is always on my mind. Yeah. But like when I every time I be like I should, and I be like no, yeah, I miss too much work. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's it. But yeah, so um, we're coming up into the winter months. The cold months, so I, I always tell Tanae, like, I feel like she should do turkey wings. I feel like she should do, like, a pot rose, like, stuff like that. Like, well, stuff tonight that's I made more. some, um, some Cajun turkey wings. Oh, shit. So, hopefully, they come out nice. Oh. <laughs> See, I really don't like when she gets fancy with the turkey wings. I just want normal, gravy turkey no, wings with onions and peppers. Stuff. She wants to fry them and no. grill them and special them. It's just like, no. Put a little fuck in it. It don't always have to be the same old thing. Um, last night today I made salt and pepper chicken. That was pretty tasty. It, re- it really reminded me of Korean fried chicken for some reason. Thank you, Jill. Yeah, it was good. Thanks. It was a nice time. I did the mines and ranch, you know. I, I had hot sauce on mine, but it was a nice time. <laughs> oh, I thought I was ghetto. <laughs> She's obviously ghetto. But obviously we have... Missed out on a couple of things that have happened. What? Can I tell you something? I stopped following the shade room, so I don't know what's going on in the world at all. At all. Um. Well, the first thing I wanted to say was I wanted to talk about um the verses that's coming up this uh, mm. Monday, August the thirty first. We are finally getting Brandy versus Monica and. The timeline so are acting a fuck. It's, it's a war going no, on right is. now, y'all. You know what? This is like, what, what year did the boys' mind come out? 1994? I don't even know. 1995, whatever year that is, this is th- that year again, but just with social media. It's like, bad out here in these streets, y'all. Mm-hmm. Like People are getting cussed out every day. I'm going to tell y'all, because I'm seeing a lot of YouTubers like, 
everybody has their opinions like people are team monica team, people are team brandy i feel like i'm a little more on the monica side just because brandy makes it like a lot of slow like i don't know i like brandy don't get me wrong like i like a lot of brandy songs but i feel like i like more of monica songs but at the same time for some reason i feel like brandy may have more hits I'm just not sure. Like, I'm just really stuck in the middle, guys. I feel like Brandy has made more radio music. Probably, yeah, that's another thing. Um, than Monica. But, so, I, I'm actually a fan of them both. Yeah. I like them both. Um, I don't know these ladies personally. Let me say that. <laughs> from, I don't know these ladies personally. But from what is portrayed on TV and social media, Monica is just a little bit more likable mm -hmm. and um a little bit more my speed right exactly um it's just sometimes me brandy does a lot sometimes me brandy does a lot of lying mm -hmm. um see because the thing is if y'all didn't watch that brandy special then fuck off see no don't get me okay mad. you don't don't got, you me can't say nothing fucking to me heat it. so it's just like Woo! A, a nice little beef with Brandy for a long time. Oh now. my god. Um. So yeah. So yeah. But um, it's gonna be a nice time for me. Either I way, seeing both sides of the mm -hmm. boy's mind. I know everybody's words. So I. It's just it's fine for me. I'm gonna know all the songs from both sides. Like I it's am gonna be happy. a great time. I'm just hoping it's like I really hate what they what they've done to the verses. Like I hate that they actually perform the songs now. I don't like that. Can we See, just play the fucking song? My thing song? with Monica is because Monica's kind of old. I mean, even though she's not old, she's kind of <laughs> old. She don't got time for a lot of shit. I don't need that. Like I could, I I really think this is one's going to be one of those ones where it's just a chilling vibe. Like yeah. she just don't, she really don't have a lot of time for a lot of theatrics. Mm -hmm. It's just like go go on ahead. Yeah. So um, so I'm really hoping that yeah. it's just the norm. I'm like they don't even have to be in the same room for me. They actually don't. Yeah, I don't like we don't that. need it at all. I don't even need a Zoom. I don't want the pony vibes because I know Monica and Brandy don't like each other. <laughs> don't try to play for me. I know the truth. See, because I think that nobody likes Brandy. Yeah, no, it's Brandy. Nobody likes Brandy. Oh, people who like Brandy have known Brandy for years. Yeah. Nobody and likes it's, that's just how like normally it is. Like people who've like grown up in Hollywood and like know them like family they mm. like they love her like, yeah like, I don't, mm -mm. but um she like that nice of a person yeah she seems like a Is jerk she an but this, wait a minute are you saying that i'm not like likable and that nice of a person is that what you're saying right now um, Aquarius. You know who I did know in my mind was an Aquarius, oh. and I looked them up, and they were I Sway Lu from Ninety Day Fiance. No, absolutely. Yo. They, the Yo, they <laughs> Lu is it. Fuck Oh my god. Yo, I was watching it one day when he was giving the silent treatment, and I was like, he has to be an Aquarius. And I looked him up, and he damn sure is a fucking Aquarius. No, I Aquarius. can absolutely see that. February <laughs> eleventh. misunderstood that's the problem Whatever. and uh, the second problem is we're not supposed to be on earth we're supposed to be on like fucking saturn or something like earth is just isn't it for whatever us. so whatever. exactly but yeah brandy, i knew that she was yeah. a damn oh my god yeah brandy does give a crazy vibe she does but i i also think that brandy has was like in the beginning like she was just she was you know how like the child stars be like Brandy had a lot going on back in the she day. Like was she was on child TV star. and she was performing and she was putting out albums. Like right. it was a lot going on. Her mother, if you know her mother, the, it was a Brandy Barbie though. Joe fucking Jack. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, bitch. No, it's really Sonya is Joe and um I think the father's name is Willie. Definitely Catherine. Yeah, it's, like, it's, a, it's a lot. Yeah. So, um, Brandy went through a lot, and then, you know, when she talks about, you know, the whole car accident yeah, thing. Yeah, that's sad. Like, I think it really just, like, changed her a lot. So, she's just, yeah, she's not really that likable of a person. And I don't know her personally, but I can just tell. Yeah. Um, and Brandy is, I mean, Monica's everybody's friend. Monica is I the mean, definition of... I mean, she is everybody's of, friend, but she ain't everybody's friend. Yo, <laughs> Monica is the definition of 
I'm good in any hood. Like, yeah, no, she's definitely she's cool. Like she's cool with yeah. everybody, but like Well, I thought she was until last week when Master P told her, I don't <coughs> know you and I don't want me. <coughs> See, no. It's him. He started going off. So she had to come <laughs> and set the record straight, like I don't talk to you. <laughs> I don't I talk you. to such and such and such and such. And I don't want to don't, know you. don't you ever try to play me. Go look at the log books. It's just a move. I don't know you. And I don't wanna know. That's my that's my move for life. Woo, that's a move. Well, that's um, my move forever. Yeah, you know, on both sides there's a lot going on for both of them right now. We have Monica going through the whole trying to get her ex C murder out and saying that, you know, she's been holding him down all this time and she done pulled Kim Kardashian and Lala and shit in it. I love it. It's a lot going do on. What, let me tell you something. Do what you can do what you do for your man, okay? Well, they're saying you were doing all this, but you were married twice since C murder's been locked up. And so. them niggas need, and them niggas still married me. So what's really good? Them niggas still married me, <laughs> and they still the, uh... had my babies, <laughs> and they knew what the fuck was going on. So now it, he got fucking his other <coughs> bitches is coming out talking about they was up there. The, the daughters is out here flipping the fuck out. So Monica got shit going over here, but then we got Brandy. And nobody pull out the business of love jet that she told them to pull out though. Yeah, they yeah, haven't. Then we got Brandy, whose sitcom from years ago oh going God. back to number one. My whole timeline is watching fucking Monica. And, okay. and I'm not. Yo, I started it and I was like, when I started it, I was with somebody who talks a lot. So I was just like, no. Like, it really, mm -hmm. the first episode, it took me back because I instantly, I mean, I know people are getting mad that people are live tweeting Moesha, but I instantly got heated because Moesha was a fucking brat. Yeah, you want to know, and I was saying, oh. the thing about it is, honestly and truly, I was never a big fan of Moesha. Mm. Like, I was a friend of, I, I like the show, no, I mean the show. Mm. I like the show. I never liked her as a character. Yo, I never realized like, I, how terrible I, she I, was. I never liked her. I always, like, was Team Kim, and I always mm -hmm. felt like she talked to Nisi like she was a dumbass. Yeah. So, like, I, and I just, like, hated how she always treated Hakeem like he was really poor and mm -hmm. broke. Like, she was a terrible-ass friend. Terrible. And I've always thought that, so it's just like, now, I was like, I'm definitely not Yo. Moesha in 2020, Moesha motherfuckers are saying that she been out here fat shaming and all. No. Yo, when you look at no. like, first of all, Kim wasn't even fat. Like, let's, let's talk about the number one thing. Kim was the best dressed thing on that show. Possibly the best looking too. Like, I mean, Moesha's no looker. Moesha's no looker. Kind of like a little alienish. Um, But, Tiffany, these are children. Oh. I thought we were talking, we talking about Brandy or Moesha. You said Moesha. Oh, I meant Brandy. Um, but the first, the very first episode, I had to stop because Dee told her that she couldn't go the fuck out, and she still took her ass out. Mm -hmm. And every time that Dee did tell her something, she would over talk Dee and talk to Frank. Oh no, I'm talking to my father right now. Like, see, because when we was kids, they was like, we thought that shit was cute, right? And respectful. No, that's not that's not what happened in real life though, because we got slept. And then just thinking about like <coughs> now that we are older, like my sister and just like different family members and friends, like they are actually in the stepmother role. My mother was a mm. stepmother, so just to think of like nobody talks about the struggle of being a stepmother. Mm, my lord, nobody talks about that. But that is one of the hardest roles in the world. I think it's easier to be a stepfather. Especially to a boy. No, no, no. It depends. No, like, it, I think it's easy. no. It really depends. Uh, no, it really depends on the family dynamic. Especially if you got like a slow, stupid ass kid that be like, "Let me tell my boy." You're like, "Shut the fuck up." But you got them bitches that say this. See, I didn't call the children bitches. Yeah, no. You got these little girls that go back and report everything to their and mother, mother, and then the mother and the step. But no, but what in. I want you to know is, boys are just as messy. Yeah, as they are. It's kids. Yeah, they kids are. are fucking trash. Yeah. that's the thing. Yeah, so D really hit it hard. So yeah, I, I am going to watch them. So like. Moesha has shot back to the top. Like everybody's talking about Brandy yeah. and Moesha, so they both have a I lot don't going reboot. on. Yeah, don't we do don't it. need that. Come everybody's on. dead. So stop it. I hate it when y'all do that. It so, really upsets so many me. people from this show has passed away. It's yeah. just like let's just leave it. Um, are you gonna watch the game? Because I remember you and Karan used to rewatch the game. But see, let me tell you something. No, I'm not. <laughs> Because I've been watching, I've been reading uh, Miles' tweets, uh -huh. and I got 
pissed all over again. I'm not watching the goddamn thing. It's honestly sad to watch. Like I don't, I don't, I don't even. It wanna... makes me want to fight Daryl with yeah. ass. Mm-mm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'm being able to do it. I think I am going to watch Sister Sister because I can't remember a lot of the episodes. Oh, hold on. I literally know almost every episode of Sister. Yeah, I, I think when I, I need tell a you it was my shiznit. My shiznit. I love that show. Yeah. So um, y'all be looking out for. I, I, I'm assuming it comes on at nine. I know it comes on the thirty first. What? Um, the verses. Oh yeah. I mean, hopefully it. Com- it come on at nine. I, don't they all usually start at nine? See, I don't know because I always join them too late. Every time I join the verses, it's an hour and a half late. No, this is one that I'm going to be on time for. Let's see. Versus TV, Monica. It starts at, or oh, starts at eight o'clock Eastern time, Shit. five p.m. Pacific. This might be that biggest one. This might be that biggest one. You think everybody, so? I yeah. think so. I think everybody's going to be watching this. Um, moving on. So since we've been gone, also um, the collab of Megan The Stallion and Cardi B came out. WAP, wet ass P, and um, it's gone to number one with. <laughs> I'm the type of person that I don't even care about number one. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. I'm happy that y'all went number one. Congratulations. It just seems like every time somebody come out with number one, it's a new goddamn. I don't even. But it's a new, like, how many, shout out to the first number one collab duo in digital music in five seconds on Urban. It was like, what what category is this? Like, are y'all. I don't know what any of it means, honestly. Not one thing. So it, it never matters to me. It, it never matters to me. I just be like, congratulations. Congrats, like, black woman. I guess. Yeah, 10th number one, your 25th number one. Like, I don't know. I can't keep up. I don't even know what it means. Do you get an award? Do you get money? I think they do get more money. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Maybe they get more money for a stream. I'm if not it's sure. Nick, I don't know. Um, But I like the song, I like the video. Um. My first time watching it, I had to cut it off when Kylie hit the screen. Oh, I definitely no because cut it off. I didn't know what was happening. Yeah. So then when I rewatched it the second time, I just didn't understand why she got this little solo and it got quiet and we just really focused on Kylie. Because I mean, for all of that, we could have just had Black China like a black woman. I just didn't understand why we were praising Kylie. Well, that little because my thing is. That little door that you had Normani twerking in, she could have walked to the door and then started dancing. Like, I just, I, 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 I just didn't understand why y'all didn't have a black woman. Like, what, is it because Kylie's a billionaire? I mean, she's not that cute of a person. Well, she's their friend. I mean, I, I hate when people are always talking about such and such look good. Bitch, if I had that money, I would look that fucking good, too. Have you seen them Oh, my God. The it's money? this girl on TikTok, like a TikTok video of this girl. She got, like, the same haircut as Kylie Jenner or whatever. And she was like, people are telling her that she's trying to look like Kylie Jenner. And she was like, no offense to Kylie Jenner. Very beautiful lady. I've had this face since I was born. She bought hers four years ago. Like, Come no. On. Like, so I'm, just saying, I'm not trying to look like anyone. Do y'all know what I would look like if I had a billion dollars? Please. Please. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Holy Y'all yeah. But y'all um, happy I don't have a billion dollars. Y'all would <laughs> y'all would be tired. Yeah. Y'all would be t- I would probably be more annoying than Bobby Lights. Like I would be y'all would be annoying. I would be on Instagram hard. Like Yeah. Every, I would be showing everything. Everything off. I would be probably taking pictures like Rihanna smoking my blunt with my titties out. <laughs> All types of things. Getting put off of Instagram. They getting re put back on there. <laughs> I would be like Boosie. Yeah. Like Tanae, what would your kitchen look like if you had a billion dollars? Disgusting. Because see Tanae, I feel like even with a billion dollars you would still cook. That's all I really want to do is cook is the one thing that makes me the most happy outside of marijuana and money. So would you have I mean, like guys, a big island? I would probably have like a big island. I would probably have like a eight range stove. I could definitely easily see me having like three ovens. Um, I want like three sinks. What about your pantry? I want my pantry to look like a walk-in closet. Yeah, like just big and spaces, organized, organized. But I only want me to organize. I don't want anybody to touch my things. <laughs> what would the I season like a lock look like? like <laughs> would you have every season in the world? I would literally have every season in the world, like every single one. I would probably like have a little mini, um, like garden in my kitchen where I would like grow my own herbs and things like that. It would be a nice time. You know, I probably wouldn't allow a lot of people in there. I could see that. 
get out. Would you have like a snack section for me for when I come I would out? have a snack section. I would, I would like to have like an island in the middle, but I would also like to have like an island like around like where people can come and sit at mm -hmm. and kind of like I can like put on a performance for them. But it's like you have so much space so they're not in your way. Right. Like y'all yeah. are over here sitting while I'm over here cooking. Right. It's a nice time. Yeah, they over there rolling I would up. definitely do the back piece. <laughs> yeah. like I would have all the rooms. So she yeah. might have a fucking flat grill. You no, I would, would. I would definitely have a flat yeah. grill. Sorry, we got lost in the moment. Yeah, we do that a lot. Um, <laughs> but th yeah, so did you like the video? Did you like the collab? Huh? Did you like the video? Did you like the collab? I mean, I definitely did like the video. Everybody looked nice. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, I like the song. It wasn't like I just didn't understand like the million word think pieces on the song. Like, oh my, God. it was just ridiculous because it's just like y'all act like people don't put out other like this is this is the most vulgar song y'all have ever heard y'all listen to have y'all didn't hear back in the day luke telling you to pop your coochie baby pop pop that coochie Trina. like i just don't get it like i don't maybe maybe because we grew up in that era it's just like I, I just this is nothing it. like have y'all listened to a little kim album that was yeah. like listen to a little kim song and not the radio version see that's the thing Y'all listen to the radio version of Little Kim. Listen to the album I don't version. want dick tonight. Okay, I, I listen to hey, the album because hey, I really wasn't. Hey, hey. Eat my pussy right. Hey, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, but thing. like when I was younger, I listened to Little Kim, but like I wasn't. I wasn't a big rap fan. I was uh, I like music because I like to sing. Sure. I get with Tiffany as she playing the real goddamn Little Kim. I'm like. She says things for real. Kim is nasty. So it's just like, yeah, like that. It just wasn't. I feel like people talking about it made it more hype than what it really was of a song. Mm -hmm, yeah. I thought it was a cool collab. I I was really happy for Megan. Um, because Megan's been going through a lot right now. Yeah. Megan actually came out, which we already knew. <clears throat> I, I always, always believed Megan. I never had. Five. What's the reason for me to not believe that? When Tori I saw him stretched her? out on the fucking ground like that, I knew he did something. He handled that damn business. So she basically came out and said that um, Tori's publicist and whoever else was on his team are putting out stuff, lies, saying that Tori didn't shoot her. And she said, no, you know. I've been trying to protect his short ass. And it's just like, <clears throat> you shot me and I'm still trying to protect Yeah, you. like, th that was really sad and it took me right back to Lemonade. It took me right back. Mm. That little skit about the most unprotected person yeah, in the world absolutely. is the black woman. Megan, so that she could protect Tori from getting shot and killed like a dog in the street, because you know the police will do it. Oop lied wouldn't tell who shot her wouldn't tell what happened trying to protect this nigga and he's out here spreading lies so she came out and she told you know exactly what happened and i have a soft spot for megan because i honestly could not imagine going through any of the things that megan has gone through since she's blown yeah. up and especially this recent um thing that happened without her mother and her father like she doesn't have her mother her father or her grandmother all she has is her friends, and I mean, I haven't heard anything about cousins or anything, but all I know is she's she about... the family that she's made for right. herself, basically. And it's, I mean, can you imagine how hard that is? Like, she, she needs guidance. And you remember we came back a while ago and was just like, you know, Megan needs to chill. And that's what she said she was going to start to do. Like, she really, it's easy to get sucked up in this life. Yeah. It's easy to start I, hanging out with people. Because she's a nice, she seems like a nice girl. Yeah. I don't know her, because you know how people like... She's a bitch, you know. No, know. she's a nice girl. She seems like a really, really she's nice girl, Aquarius. although she's an Aquarius. She's an um, and so it's just like you know that you can easily get sucked up into mm -hmm. that because people love like, oh, Megan's so nice. She's this, she's that. So it's just like, and she's hot, like she's the hottest thing mm -hmm. out right now. So, but it's just, it's sad. It's also sad being with someone who you like, you felt like you could be protected with, mm -hmm. like. And that's the person who shot you. Like, that's always a fuck up. Because it's just like, I really, you know, I let my guard down. I could have been beat your ass up. Yo, I really gagged when she brought up Kylie. When she was like, because people thought it was because, did she say because he was messing with Kylie or something? Or talking like to Kylie or something. I said, bitch, yeah. she actually said the name. I wonder if she got a Chris Jenner call. Don't be saying I do what a name. No, she put her, that, that bitch is in the video. Shut up. Um, great, sweetie. <clears throat> so I'm just hoping that things can get resolved. I'm hoping that they send him back to Canada 
immediately i've noticed that I hope he um, goes to jail no i hope his ass yeah he needs to, to go, he definitely needs to go to jail but i'm hoping they take him to canada to jail um get him out of here and i was asking today i can't remember what was the exact question i asked you but it was so crazy because all the examples started to come out of men basically saying that they just couldn't imagine little Tory shooting this big six because my thing woman. is like he's little but he's still a fucking man right. like what the fuck does that have to do with anything? And she was saying, like, imagine if it was somebody like Janae Yoki or fucking Karuchi or like somebody a smaller small. woman. Like, everybody would have more sympathy. And it's like, you know, she's getting some trickles of support. And I don't know what's happened behind the scene. But I just feel like more black men should be out That's here saying like, stuff. That's just like somebody said on Twitter. Kodak Black tweeted about what he wanted to do or what he had planned to do with... Um, what's her name? Lauren London. Mm -hmm. Niggas was really putting up death death threats. Mm -hmm. This nigga Tory Lanez actually shot Megan the Stallion, and y'all are silent. Nothing. It's it's really fun. I gotta hear his side of the story. Why? And nothing she did. Nothing she did deserved to be shot. She didn't shoot him. She didn't shoot his fucking mother. She didn't shoot his fucking baby. <laughs> Nothing she did deserve to get shot. Nothing. So it's just like, what's that? Why, why? I don't understand why you got to hear his side of the story. Yes, For right. what? They said y'all niggas had more to say about Dwayne Wade's son. Oh, hello. To protect this black woman and give your support. Like, where are you niggas at? But, uh, the same niggas who be drooling over her ass. Like, come on. The same niggas who be... Please, I'm not yeah, even gonna no. do that. But yeah, it's just like no. Yeah, it's very disappointing. You guys are disappointing. It's like y'all are literally the weakest fucking link. Yeah, definitely. Um, moving on to we finally know who is the running uh VP with Joe Biden. It's gonna be Kamala. 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 It's Kamala. No, it's not. They. That's how you pronounce it. They said Kamala. It's Kamala. That's her name. I want to call it Kamala. Okay. I mean, I think we can because of the accent and where we're from. We can't say Kamala because that's how we talk. But um. Yeah. Somebody speak that fast. Kamala. 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 Kamala, Kamala Harris. Um. I wouldn't care if Joe Biden ran with Donald Duck. Oh, <laughs> I'm voting for Joe Biden because I'm not voting for, for Donald Trump. Trump. We're trying to get Trump out of here. And y'all putting all these fucking think pieces about Kamala and about Joe. We don't have time for that. We don't have, we don't have time for that. Whoever is against Donald Trump, we need to get on the fucking train. That's it. We'll deal with that shit later, later. down the road. We will deal with that shit later. Let's deal with that later. Let's get him in the White House. Then we'll figure some shit out. We got to get Donald and Melania the fuck out now. Are y'all crazy? We already no, have black crazy. ass Kanye West about the fuck up shit in certain states because they're putting him on fucking tickets. <laughs> of course, some of you stupid asses who are going to listen to the fucking baby and Chance the Rapper and 2 Chains are going to go and vote for fucking Kanye West, which were votes that could have went to fucking Joe Biden, which is going to give more to fucking Trump. Do y'all know that these Make America Great Again racist motherfuckers are going to be out here voting? Again. Do y'all see what's going on with the mailing system? So for the people who can't go out, for the people who are still scared of corona, their shit might not even fucking make it in. So we already are at a disadvantage. Now that is the one thing that I already know that I'm going to do. I am I'm definitely voting. I wish I could do it more than once. Voting polls. Like, <coughs> absolutely. I feel in my gut that we are about to deal with Satan another four years mm -hmm. because you niggas are trash. You niggas are dumb. It's so many people already talking about how they not voting. Literally out of three trillion dollars, Donald Trump gave you twelve hundred. You got That's how much he thinks of you. You gotta not have a job to get extra money. That's how basically. much he thinks of you. Literally, other countries. You remember he always said, "United States is the best place in the world." Where this? They've been giving their fucking people thousands of dollars and so many other things to get themselves back together and to jumpstart the economy. Not his ass, cause he don't give a fuck. I He's know. out golfing at Mar-a-Lago, 
I just remember what like I felt like during uh Obama's last speech. How it just like really had like set in like, oh my God, he's leaving. Mm -hmm. And I remember how I felt before we went to bed and that you could already tell that Donald Trump had won. Like mm -hmm. the votes were so high for him. He had won like so many states, most of the big states, and I was just like, Oh my God. So it's like, do y'all wanna go through that again? Damn. Do y'all want to go through Donald Trump again? This man is literally a racist. No. He mocks disabled people, poor people. It is strange. It is strange to see people at this Republican convention, black people, up here standing up him. You got fucking crackhead Jaheem. Now they telling me that Isaiah Washington is out here. Hell yeah! You didn't know his ass was a Trump supporter? Absolutely stupid ass niggas. Can y'all please just vote? Fucking dumb muscle head goddamn Terry Crews. Like, ugh. I'm tired. And it's just like, I'm tired of black women having to be the ones to save us. No, that's not my motherfucking job. Do your motherfucking job and then we can just all just be chilling. It's very unfortunate. It November is going to be a shit show. Yeah. I really said, I'm just hoping that... Yo, this could ruin your birthday. For my birthday, God just gives me Biden. <laughs> like... And I know that's pretty far-fetched, but it's just like, it's my birthday, so I feel like I can ask God for whatever I want. I don't even want to talk about... I, I, I just don't even want to talk about what the police are still out here doing, killing all black men. It's, I still... But y'all so, y'all so outraged. Like, why do these cops think that they can just take somebody's life? Like, they will literally shoot you like a dog in front of your children. I don't, I can't even deal with it. <laughs> Yo, did like, you see the man from, the man who just got shot, his family who said, they asked him, like, how did he feel about the investigation for going forward? And he said he doesn't have any confidence in white people <laughs> bringing back, like, any he was like, nobody said anything by now. I don't have any confidence that exactly. they're going to give me any justice. And it's just like, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. Please, y'all vote. Um, I really couldn't speak too much on the God Tim from um, the show Sweetie Pies. Sweetie Pies is actually a show that I really do want to watch. I don't, um, know. I don't even know what it's about. I know it's about a restaurant. Welcome to Sweetie Pies. And um, it's like a family-owned restaurant. Like, the whole family works there. But um, it came out last week that the uncle, uh, which is the owner's son, actually was the one who set the nephew up um, to get murdered so that he could get his life insurance policy. And he, and he never get, even he got the fucking He didn't even get money. the life insurance policy. Though. I just, and I, from what I understand, he, she was, he was also dating Jennifer, uh, Jennifer, Jennifer Williams from Basketball Wives. And she had came out and tried to warn people that he was fucking crazy um, some time ago. Who was dating Jennifer? The uncle? Yeah, the one that just got locked up. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. I yeah. had no idea. Yeah. Um, I just want, like, only thing I can tell y'all from this situation is that you can't even trust. Like, your, your family's crazy, too. You have people in your family who are crazy and they will kill you. You have friends who mm -hmm. will kill you. You are really surrounded by some crazy-ass people, so you just can't. You got... You got to stay on your toes, for real. Motherfuckers is crazy. Tanea, Tanea is the realest family member that I, like, a lot of people make excuses for family members. Tanea will tell you straight up, my cousin's a fucking crackhead and he will kill a motherfucker. <laughs> like, you can't, like, and then Nene be like, no, he wouldn't. But Tanea's just like a realist when it comes to that. Like, you have to acknowledge my cousin really will. He would kill my uncle. He would kill my such and such. Like, I would leave my child around such and such because I don't know what the fuck might happen. Like, you got to be real about I'm your just family saying, members, too. If somebody is in my family, I feel like, I mean, I have pulled Nene up a plenty of times to ask her if the people in her family are doing crack. She said no, but I just, okay. People are fucking crazy. Like, I don't put shit past a lot of people in my family. That's why I don't be around <laughs> them motherfuckers. Like, you yeah, know. And it's so crazy. Like, that's your fucking nephew. Like, wow. Really, really on TV, like, trying to act like you said. Like, nephew, like, uncle is the next step from dad. Yeah. Like, it's, crazy. it's just so weird. 
Wow, well, I just think I about think all my nephews. Like him. that's crazy. They're definitely going to get his ass. So that's all I can really say from that because I didn't really watch that show. Um, I did just want to tell you guys that um, the shy really disappointed me with the season finale. Like I had to go to Twitter to make sure it was the finale because that's how boring it was. Like I just don't understand. It was like it was like up and down with the show this season. Like. The first episode would be good, but the second episode was just like, ugh. And then the third and the fourth episode was like, okay. Then the fifth and the sixth was like, where are we going? And then the one before the finale was like, oh, my God, they killed such and such. And then we get to the finale. Like, we didn't even get to witness, like, the guy becoming the mayor. <coughs> we didn't get no more Lala, which we should have after what fucking happened. Y'all got us, y'all done made Ronnie all fixed his life and then y'all killed the motherfucker. It was fucking dildos and strap-ons. Keisha was fucking missing for seven fucking episodes. I mean, I just don't know. This is why I can't get, I, I just can't get attached to these shows no more. Like, you really got to stick with reality TV. They won't let you down. No, hell, not 90 Day Fiance never lets me the fuck down. These 90 Day Fiancés are the best thing on television right now. And I don't have to wait a year for it to come back because as soon as one goes off, the Monday, the new one is coming on. It's a cycle. I love it. They got these niggas recording themselves and then they're editing it and putting it up. It was a quarantine special. I watched every single one. I'm now watching Married at First Sight quarantine special. Couples came. What the hell? That's a new. This is that. They just came out with that shit. Yeah, the shy really let me down with that finale, man. Like it just pissed me off so bad. And then when I saw people on Twitter talking about, it, I'm like, okay, I'm not tripping because it's like, bitch, what the fuck are you doing? Like, I really ain't been right since Scandal. Like, I went from Scandal ending bad to fucking binge watching Game of Thrones and it ending fucking bad. Like, I don't think power ended bad, even though y'all still feel like it. Power didn't end bad, but my fucking husband was murdered by oh, his son. That bitch. Tariq killed fucking ghosts. That good. He needed to Like, die. I would have rather Tommy fucking kill ghosts. You know fucking how, Tariq. Yeah, you know how many people to, um he killed? He deserved it. I, it's not the issue of him dying. I'm sad he died. No, he deserved but to die at the hands of his ass It should have been fucking Tasha. You want to know why? Because he should have been took Tariq's ass out. See, that's his problem. <laughs> he never cleans up his mess. If he would have shot that bitch, that girl, would that night? Maria. Hello. He was trying to be nice. You always. He's a good no, guy. No, no, fuck that. No loose ends. You, I'm sorry. You got to kill these niggas, their baby mamas, and... Remember I told you guys watch Drop the baby off. So it's really just like people. You gotta do you can you think I'm gonna kill your baby father and leave you the fuck alive to kill on me? Boop, you dying too. No, everyone's dying. If I got bullets, y'all is dying. Yeah, it just seems like um, you know, they really were trying to pick pick up the pieces from Brandon being kicked off the show. But it just was hard. It was it was just really hard. <laughs> For Lena and them. He so. got dope. Yeah, I saw that. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Did y'all see who's playing Karen? This new thriller? I'm watching that shit. Yeah, she looks like a wild Pensatucky. one. Yeah. Um, but speaking of power, the last thing I wanted to talk about was I'm really hoping that you guys will give um, the second power. Power Book 2 comes out September the 6th, next Saturday. Um, get you a free trial. Something just to watch the first episode. I feel like we all should give it a try like come on now why aren't we supporting the black woman y'all out here supporting lena like why aren't we supporting my Courtney? thing is it's just like just watch it what else it's nothing it's nothing for you have it mm. insecure is gone you might as fucking well kimmy i just feel like Kim, all should give it a i try. know she's trying she's not her who watch white ass mediterranean down south deck whatever that goddamn show is that she watched <laughs> That's why hair <Hannah> got fired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um I'm definitely going to give it a try. I'm also going to give um which I heard is confusing, but I am going to give it a try cuz you know, certain shit yo, she it's hard to come. I'm trying to um, tell what's it called? Lovecraft. Um is it called Lovecraft or Lovecraft Country? Lovecraft, Lovecraft Country. Yeah, I'm going to give it a try cuz I do like Jeremy. Um you know her brother's crazy. <laughs> um, I do like Jeremy. Would you like somebody to judge you from your brother? 
or my sister. Right. So that's um, not nice. I'm sorry, Jamie. And, <laughs> um, I am going to give P Valley another chance. And I'm going to tell y'all what got me. My mother told me that um, the, the, the rapper started fucking... Uh, L- Lil Murder or somebody. Yeah, Lil Murder, he fucking the man with the wig. With the wig, yeah. Mm-hmm. That got me. Do you know that? I love a download nigga fucking. Um, oh, know. is he download though? Because I thought he was gay, but not gay. Like, he's well, not gay to the eye, but he's I was like, gay. When gay. I first saw it, he. Oh, he's going to be fucking. I think he's going to. It's more than one scene then, because I keep on saying tweets about mm-hmm. them fucking. Um, but you know what? P Valley, every time I see it, I think it smiles. And the reason why I think it's Miles is because Miles is putting his face on Beyonce. Mm-hmm. So it's like I always see a man's face with women head and I always have to look twice. And I'd be like, Miles has literally ruined it for me. Every time I see him, I think it's like Miles putting his face on a lady. Miles, you gotta stop it. <laughs> I, Miles, when are you doing your little questionnaire? Because he's gonna put up a thing, ask me a question. I said, when do you want to make a YouTube video to help us fat people out and tell us your secret? Oh, no. I'm just trying to get him to make me um, a poster thing so he can mail it to me. But he said we're going to do that. What? What do you need a poster for? My name is birthday coming up. Oh, yeah. You can make that to me. No, I can't. Tanae is crafty. Mm-mm, I can definitely get But you already do have a lot to do. Yeah. That, I, I would love for him to make it. And, I can, and just ship it to me. Yeah. So we're going to go eat these turkey wings for dinner. And sit in the house like we always do because it's Corona. Yeah. And take care of our puppy. Shout out to all the dog parents. It's hard out here. I was literally thinking about Chippy and Pep in the car, and I almost like had an anxiety attack. Like I was I can't believe this is my fucking life. Like it's really like having two fucking kids that need your full attention mm-hmm. most of the time. Like I'm really a stay at home mom. No, she is the mother. I'm the father. <laughs> it's so bad. Like. I have to beg Tanae to take her fucking no, kids. No, she did. She did. Please. She no, do pay child support. I, I will say that. But because the, they see the thing about it is they do too much yeah. and they don't fucking listen. They don't. So it's just like I'm not gonna keep on fucking screaming that y'all do- dogs. You think I'm gonna let y'all let me? No, absolutely not. I have to beat them. They still don't listen. It's like the worst decision. One of Tanae's worst decisions was to get two dogs. Yeah, but you should have just, you should have definitely said no. I don't know what, were we both going through something? Because it's just like, you are usually, when I come up with something crazy like that, you like, Tanae, because we're going to have to do this, and then you I didn't want the one, but the only thing that sold me on the second was because they said that it would help Chippy because Chippy cried all night. Well, no, see, I'm talking about the one, period. You should have Yeah, we should have no. never got him. You like, should have said no to the one. And then you took me to meet the dogs. It's just like... Well, that's what I heard that we should do if we wanted to see if we wanted I to wish we could. I if I could, could take, take that back, I would take that shit back. And Nick, she could still have my money. Just don't give me these dogs, honestly. But now it's like they're they're here. They love us. We love them. It's just like, yeah, it's literally like I fucked the night without a condom, and now I got kids. I'm like stuck with these fucking dogs. Bad decisions were made, but you're here now, so I love you. So I hope you guys have a great <laughs> rest of your week. I hope you are safe. Make sure you're wearing your mask. I hope you're in a state that is requiring you to wear a mask at this point. Um, if you're if children, you stay home, you won't have to wear a mask. If your children are um, going physically to school, um, I pray that you keep them covered with masks. And I just couldn't imagine sending my child to school right now. Like, Baltimore is already so dirty. These kids are dirty. They sneeze. Rex? Rex coughs, sneezes, dig up his butt, dig up his nose, dig in his ear, yeah. scratch his hair. And then when it hey. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I just see everybody getting sick. Sick. So just you know, make the right decision. Like I hear that some some uh, states you have a choice if you want to do virtual or in person. Now, if it was up to my sister and they gave them that option, Rex would be the only child in school. Yeah, she wouldn't. Give a fuck. She wouldn't give a fuck. Take him, please. So um, I I do worry about the kids who are going like these high school kids and these crowded as hallways. I mean, they just shut down another major university here. They just shut down Towson. They send them all virtual. Down. It doesn't make sense to me. You shouldn't never fucking open. And we're about to head the second wave. Also, if you have some Lysol in your city and you can mail it to me, please let me know. I will cash app you. 
Make sure you let me, send me my picture of my package and then I cash app you. I need Lysol. And if I mean I know they say that it's not no wipes, but if y'all happen to see wipes, I'm seeing wipes more than Lysol. Though. I'm not saying no wipes. I'm not saying no Clorox wipes. Yeah, help us help us sister out. Um, if this is your first time watching, make sure you subscribe. We'll be here usually every week. For the people who have been watching, make sure you share this video. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell your mother, your cousin, your sister, your brother. Tell somebody about the show, and we'll see you guys next week. Um, something that I want to leave the show with is that I don't think I really like Aries either. Y'all are like assholes. We've been through that. It just hit me, though. I was just thinking about... Oh, my God. Y'all are hard. We can't stand Aries. I hate them. It, I'm telling you, it's something about... Them fire signs <coughs> and them air signs. Mm, 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 and them mm. earth signs and them water signs. You can't live without water. So <laughs> You can't live without air, bitch. Tell me how I'm supposed to breathe with no air. There, it wouldn't be air if there was no water. You Ooh. need water to make air. At any rate, see y'all. Y'all have a good time. Um, oh, how you close the show out? Come on. No, I really can't remember when when I ask you, you just need to help me. I don't need you say Tanae, come on, because you can't fucking remember <laughs> either. Um, oh, if you didn't know, now you know there's no show like the show. We gotta go. See? Oh good, the puppies just started.